<laughs> you are. Go, 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 go. Oh, wow. Okay, did it. Good job, baby. Thanks, bro. Don't call me baby, though. Sorry, boo. Don't call me boo, either. Are you guys g g Oh, don't worry. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. What about this guy? He's coming around the corner. Oh, he's got it. Oh. 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 Nice. Hello. This is insanely cool. Dude. Stop. 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 Oh. Oh. oh, you got him, dude. Don't worry. Okay. Hey, Ryan. Come here. Give me a kiss. It's all right. Okay. Ooh, Whoa. blew him to smithereens. You don't need to waste that many bullets, Ryan. Can you do what you tried to do last time? Nope. Oh, nice. Okay. Nice. Nah. <laughs> dude. Give me a high Give five. me a high five, dude. <laughs> dude. You're still, you're still really damp. Like just your whole, I'm sorry, I just, just your, like your general vicinity is just damp. It's moist. I'm sitting next to you and it's just, everything's moist. Oh, there he is. Oh, shit. All right, this is going to be a tricky one. Can you do it? Oh, no. No, 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 no. 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 Good. Oh, no way, dude. Yes. What? Oh, dude, my God. Nice. Okay, dude. Good come job. Here. Give me a high five. Mm -hmm. oh, ah, dude, you're so wet. Sorry. You were so damp. I know, I know my mustache just kind of sopped into your mouth a little yeah, that bit. That was a little there. gross, dude. Ugh. I'm sorry about that. I really What's going am. on? Um, you want to you wanna end it here? Yes. Well, is that what you're supposed to do? It told me to do it. I'm just following the Good rules. Good dog. See? Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> See this? That's yeah. the tip of my penis. Ryan, why? Why? It was just kind of folding up onto the laptop thing. Ryan, come on, dude. I'm sorry, I gotta adjust that. that Thank was... God we don't have a face cam. You just exposed yourself to me. Hey, but I mean, I'm not complaining. And... Hello? Kabam, dude. Done. No? Yeah! High five! Okay, can you, can you lay off the kisses, please? I'm sorry, man. You know my girlfriend is in the other room, Ryan. She's just sitting in my room, bored as fuck right now while we're doing this. Okay, you know what, Matt? I'm sorry. You and I, I'll buy you a drink. I'll buy you a little... I'll, I'll buy you some milk. Dude, you come on. You and I, just, just hear me out. I'll get you some milk. I like this. Let's talk over some things. We'll talk over the kisses. We'll come back, play some more super hot, maybe. When you say talk over the kisses, you mean like talk about how you're not going to do that anymore? Yeah, well, my, talk, yeah, we're, Ryan, we're my girlfriend talk is uncomfortable hey, with hey. this. And I said, and I was like, I was Matt, like, do you oh. want milk or not? Yeah. Okay, well, let's go. Okay, all right, yeah, let's go. Good, man? I think I'm good. Okay, let's get back to it. It's a tight asshole you got. It is tight. All right, guys, we're back, and uh, we are, uh, you know, got my milk, got a few kisses from Ryan, and yep. we're going we're gonna to keep playing. Okay, so uh, let's see where this takes us. What are your favorite memories of each other? Not, not that one. I can promise you that. Not that one. I think uh, my favorite memory of Ryan was uh, when we went out to that Australian uh, shrimp place, Aussies, and, um, and you had the ring already, and, uh, and you lost it, but... What? Okay, okay. Here we go. Now you just gotta just stay up top, because they're not gonna come up top. Just wait until they get... Oh, come on. It's like a... Yes! 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 Oh. oh, here you go, Matt. Oh, come here. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Dude, my tongue Ryan. is flicking in excitement. Oh, dude, you're. Dude, let me touch that moist face. To... Mm, nice. Hey guys, welcome to episode 15 of our podcast. Today we've got some fun topics. It's called the Super Mega Cast. I'm sorry, it's not just some welcome podcast. Welcome to Super Mega Cast. I am Matt Watson, and I'm here with my my lovely friend and partner. Not well, not a, like a life partner. No, like a business partner. Well, I'll probably know you for life, but that'd... oh, sorry, not a business partner, a fun partner. A friend. Uh, <laughs> uh, Ryan McGee. Yeah, it's, it's... All right, guys, it's time for the grand fucking finale. We've got Ryan in a shopping cart with with me, just as the logo of the on the shopping cart. All right, Ryan. No matter what happens, uh, I'll always love you. All right. I love you too, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, are we gonna do it in this cart? Yeah, we. Let's do it. Let's do it. I love go. you. I love you. I love you. T okay, yeah, that's that's cool. Shit. Oh, oh. good job, oh. us. Well. <laughs> and there's an accurate physical representation of what will happen to this channel within the next few months. <laughs> so, <laughs> it, it it was in it was a British th show. Skins. Yeah, skins. Such a bad show, by the way. Yeah, oh, it really is. I've seen a but few episodes. But you see boobs in the British version. 
Dude. Her boobies. Boobs make it good. I love boobs. Yeah, dude. Boobs are nice. Boobs are great, man. Show uh, us your boobs at our live show. I, dude. Unless you're, you felt my boobs before. They have a nice like jiggle. You let me shut my eyes and feel your boob, and I'm, I, well, I, I want. I said I'm gonna shut my eyes and feel it and see if I can imagine it's a woman. Ryan ha is shutting his eyes, <laughs> and feeling his tit right now. I was. Can I try? Can I? Yeah. Right. Hold on. I need to get it loose. Just let me be relaxed. All right, ready? Yeah. It's like a jellyfish, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Have yeah. you touched a jellyfish before? Oh yeah, many times. Have you been stung? Uh, yes. You know what they say, if you get stung by a jellyfish, you're gay. That is what Shit. they say. <laughs> Wait, are we all in the D club? Have we all seen each other's stuff? Uh, I haven't seen Chris's. I haven't seen Chris's either. Woo! I have. That would be an Did awesome you saw my penis? I saw your nuts hanging down. Oh, I didn't oh. see his nuts. <laughs> oh, okay. It's a good bonding sesh, dude. Okay, I, I may not have seen your cock, but definitely your nuts. Chris, Snapchat me those nuts sometime, dude. Sure Don't be afraid. <laughs> okay. At VidCon, we went to the bathroom and took a picture of Ryan with his pants down and Snapchatted it to Chris and Aaron Hansen. No, we didn't Snapchat to Aaron, just Chris. Yeah. Was... So I didn't see any Yakuza people. You're not, it wouldn't be, I, I, well, because it's, isn't it kind of looked down upon? Super looked down. You're, like if I'd have to cover my tattoos. Yeah, you like to go to public bathhouse. You'd probably have to wrap it up. Yeah, and I just have to be like, yeah, an injury. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, I think I think they I think if they see that, they know it's like, oh well, at least he's trying to cover it up. So yeah. I saw a dude actually in. I saw a white guy with a tattoo in the uh, bathhouse, but the bathhouse was me, my buddy Christian, and probably fifteen or twenty naked Japanese men over the age of fifty, and that was it. And uh, it was wonderful because it, it was. The ba it was just a bunch of big hot tubs, so I love hot tubs. And they had an electric one where the water shocks you while you're in it, which I got in. What? Yeah, the shocks water. Shocks you? Yeah, there's like electricity. They have metal bars in the this? water. That yeah, the whole time it, you're in it, it's shocking you. And it's it's not like a bad shock, but I got in and I was like, whoa, what the fuck? This is weird because you you're getting shocked. Yeah. Not to the point where it hurts, but you can still feel it. And if you get close to the walls because there's metal in them to conduct the electricity. Your muscles start to like contract and do this and everything, oh. and uh, it, it kind of hurts if you get close enough. And then after I got out, my hands were tingling. And then there was a hot tub for it was like brown water. It was medicine water that's vitamins and everything. Yeah. And they had a cold one and ones with waterfalls. I ended up going three times total because it was so the bathhouse. Yeah, because it's it's so it, it's so nice. Did you feel like the big man on campus? Nope. Ryan, I have a small fucking penis. Yeah, that is true. I did see did one. Did you see a big honker there? Uh, mm, no. No I big honkers? No big honkers. I did see a Japanese man uh, whose penis was you so... You saw a Japanese man? I did see a Japanese man. His penis was so small, uh, I could not see it through his bush. Aww. Not that I was, you know, checking out these Japanese men's penis. It was just an observation. I well, did. that would have had to require a double take. You didn't make that observation on the first glance. Yeah, and also, not to mention, uh, he would... Well, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. He was 70 years old, 60 or 70, so... You know, he doesn't really need it anymore. I'm sure it wasn't always that small, but there you go. How how old are you when you stop becoming like super sexually active? Probably forty. What? I don't know. Well, like you always, uh, you're a human. You're always. I thought always forty a... is like when you go through your big horny stage for women because they hit menopause. Not at forty. Like and I fifty, they'll hit menopause or something. And then like men, when they're that age, they're like, oh, I gotta fuck all these women before I can. Are they? Oh yeah, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Right. Right, men. Well, men are obviously. I don't know. I don't know. I remember when I was a I just, kid. I just picture being forty and just being like. Um, oh, uh, my penis isn't gonna work anymore after this. I need to, I need to fuck any man, woman, and... Yeah, Ryan? <laughs> Get her! No! What no! Happened? Fuck! What happened? Fuck! What Get happened? out! Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Oh, wait. Okay. Yes, yes. yes. Did that yes. get everybody? Yep. It, it hits everybody. Oh, you're in first again. Yeah. Oh, that is so oh. lucky. Come on, come on, come on, please. Is there? A, I'm I'm so close to the end, Matt. That's Matt, so... what are you, <laughs> stroke my cock, Matt. Uh, okay. Uh, ah, gross. Ew! Stop! Ew! Matt, I don't want to do it anymore. I'm sorry. Um, Leif Erikson is widely held to be one of the first Europeans to set foot on what continent? Your classmate is locked North America. In. That's okay. why we have Leif Erikson Day, right? Leif Erikson disease. <laughs> right? Isn't that a thing? You're thinking of Lou Lou Gehrig's disease, <laughs> or Lou Gehrig's disease. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. Matt, like, come here. Right. Stand, stop! No, I, I thought you no, wanted to kiss him. What do you think of penguins? Uh, I like penguins. They're dirty fuckers. <laughs> They're gay. 
they're gay. They are gay. What, what do you think of the insides of their of their mouths? Of their brains? The insides of their stomachs. Wait, are they really gay? Yeah. Yeah. They're gay by choice. <laughs> are penguins actually gay? It's because there was the famous ones in the zoo, remember? Matt. I don't know what every, their names every were. Every animal can end up gay, Matt. Is that true? Yes. Yes. No, there's I, a lot. There's a lot of different animals that have been observed. Sorry, sorry. Homosexual just, relationships. Each other. No, 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 no. There, there, there is a Wikipedia page that's like uh, animals that display homosexual behavior. Penguins it, is one of them. Yeah. If you go down it, it's got like hamsters, yeah. uh, chimps, all sorts of shit. I went to a humans, beetles. I remember the I went to were gay? a. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Julian. What? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to distract the audience from knowing that the beetles were gay. <laughs> That's very important information. No, what were you true. saying, Julian? I, I, that I went to a Catholic Yoko high school. Yoko was just a cover-up. <laughs> I went to, it was, a, it was a marriage of convenience. I went to a Catholic high school, and I remember I had one teacher who was very, very angrily uh, adamant that animals never, animals never exhibit homosexual tendencies. That's a human invention. And We uh, taught them how to do it. And that, like, they were like... Uh, a human invention. They were like... Uh, you, you, you. Uh, it, there has never in history been a case where a dog stuck its penis in another dog's mouth. Yes. And yes, there has been. It's, yes, and you it, can it see that many times. It's a human invention. John Gay created gay, and he gave it to the animals. <laughs> this is true. Copyrighted. He copyrighted gay. He read that <laughs> one in the history books. I had something. It wasn't as bad as that, but I remember that was the most embarrassed I ever felt in class. Was that. Because it was it was social studies, and yeah. th we would play a we would play the news game every week that you would talk about what's been happening in the news and. Did you talk about the gay penguins? I don't remember what came up. It was something related to gay marriage, and they they force everyone in the class to have to have like a discussion on it, and it's it's very political. And I ended up I don't even remember what I said, but I said like. Something about how it's not really a thing that anyone has any choice. It's just what they kind of end up oh. as. And the teacher himself cut me off and said, "Excuse me, that's that's <laughs> actually not true." And everyone in the class was was acting like, "Yeah, what'd you say?" They that? pointed at you and laughed. What yeah, idiots actually it, think people choose to be victim? Like, it, <laughs> being gay is not good. Listen, like it sucks. Wh in what? Julian, in you don't need to deal with women. In the <laughs> in fucking society, it's a bad idea. Because you'll just get beat up, and well, it's, it's harder to find partners. There's like all kinds of logical reasons. Well, I logically think, speaking, it's horrible for a species to be gay. Yeah, gay, yeah. gay, being gay is an awful idea. It, it's like, coining the end logically. of a species. I quote, I quote, quote all you guys on that. <laughs> That's, I mean, it's, it's true. No, though. no, I, I totally understand what you're saying. It just sounds funny. There's good things about it. What, what is the sucks? What is penis? Uh, yeah, dick, dick is pretty good. You, you, uh, is it? You I think so. I like it. You, you well, that's because you're gay. <laughs> you, you can relate on much more things, so it's not. There's not going to hey, be. That's true. I mean, that is a thing that hey, people say. No. They're all like, "Oh, it's like hanging out with the guys." You can you can enjoy Broadway and not feel bad about it. You can enjoy Broadway now. And Why would you? What does that mean? <laughs> He's saying he thinks he thinks musicals are gay. No. Well, they are. <laughs> no. <laughs> They're pretty gay. <laughs> Ryan, are you okay, Ryan? What? I'm trying to Fine, defend musicals. musicals. Most are gay. musicals are. I don't know any particularly hetero musicals. Hetero musicals. Hetero musicals. Yeah. I'm, I identify as a hetero musical. Uh, the Lion <laughs> King. That's pretty hetero. Mm, Scars of fucking. Fruit. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Scars of fucking fruit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? He is. He is. He is. Pretty sure Mowgli. Was He's bisexual. going to practice his currency. <laughs> Is Les Miserables gay? Doesn't come uh, off. Yes, doesn't come off I as gay. Yes. Yes. Say, How does that come yes. off? Rent seems more gay to me. Rent's pretty gay. Rent's super gay. Did you say Grint? No, <laughs> Brent. Rent. Brent. Wait, rent is did, super did, gay. Did you just say rent seems it? What do you rent, mean rent seems it? Of course gay. it is. There's lesbians. Le Le Lebanon lesbians. <laughs> <laughs> and there's uh, there's Angel. Because they become, what else? They become an because angel. she becomes an angel, she dies. They it's... all die of AIDS that they contracted from the ATM machine. Yeah. Wait, <laughs> after it spat out money, it spat out AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> what about Avenue Q? It was, a, it was a thick blob that came out. They went, Ugh, what was that? You know what? I've never seen yeah. Avenue Q, so I don't know how gay it is, but I'm going to assume it's gay because there are men singing. I mean, there, uh, there's the one song about it. Oh, that's true. It's okay to be gay. It's like the Bert and Ernie characters singing to each other. I like other. Avenue Q. I want to see it. I haven't seen it, but I, I know all the person? songs. Yeah. Damn. 
I, have you have you seen the all Book the of musicals? Mormon I've seen I've I seen Phantom see, of the Opera in person once. Everything else has been I, on. I got to see like Agnew video. Q in person, and I got to see uh, Book of Mormon in person. Ah, oh, Book of Mormon is wonderful. It was. Very I want to. I love it. It's my favorite. It's my favorite experience watching a musical. Oh, you know, I got one that's not gay. Jesus Christ Superstar. That's really gay. It's an, Jesus it's, Christ Superstar is not gay. That is super probably, gay. Judas. It's probably pretty gay. I saw it live. Are you it kidding was amazing. Me? It is gay though. What's gay about it? What? That it's, it's Jesus Christ. The What's whole song about Judas. It's really, it's really like uh, flamboyant, like the style of music. And purposely they use and everything. so. Like yeah, it was also made by Jews. That's why it ends when Jesus Christ gets killed and it doesn't show his resurrection. Because he's not the true Messiah. Because he's gay. Why am what I? Why say? can't I remember the name of the actual? What's his? The Muhammad. Little Shop of Horrors. Oh. Little Mermaid. Steve what's Martin. His name? Sorry. It's not They're, Steve Martin. They look the same. I don't know what you're talking about, Julian. I don't know that. But he's gay. Oh, I mean blind. <laughs> the he first is gay. man to climb Mount Everest. But <laughs> the guy I'm thinking of is gay. I don't. The guy that climbed Mount I think Everest. I got, is gay. Yeah, confused. the guy who climbed Mount Everest. Oh yeah, he's blind. That's right. I forgot. That's no, what he's <laughs> gay. At the he's top of Mount Everest is is uh, a <laughs> that's, gay. That's what you when you're when you want to approve when you want when, when, <laughs> you wits you want yep. you want him to do you so much. Uh, what? What? No, that, that's what the, <laughs> the little, little kid. that's the little kid because he can't speak. So he's little says, kid. Yeah. You know What's the, the little video? kid saying that the Jesus Christ. No, it, no, yeah, we're, we're getting our happened. wires crossed. <laughs> <laughs> he's so happy to see Jesus, he couldn't speak. It's <laughs> and then he's gay. Fucking <laughs> shit! What was I gonna say? You were saying it's something about Mount Everest. No. When you're, you're gay, when you no. get to the top. No. That's what no, you're mean. blind when you get to the top. <laughs> and gay. The okay. process. No, you have you to gay. be gay to climb it. Yeah, and then you become blind at the top. <laughs> Boom. Oh, dude, Flash games. <laughs> Mathematics boy. <laughs> Ma wait. Yeah. Check your ability to quickly assume. Assume. Yo, it's Mathematics boy zone. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, there's his little nutsack in the bottom of his nutsack that out. right there. Five minus three. Five minus three, hurry, you're two, running out of time. Two. Got it. Nice. Oh. <laughs> Five minus two is three. Three. Okay. Oh, dude, yes, you did it right. <laughs> Good job. Let's see, let's see. Oh, dude. <laughs> yeah, I love that. He's got a small penis. I love that bush going on. It's not even erect. <laughs> Why, why would he Where do is shoot? balls? I don't know. Uh, uh, 14 plus 29. 29. 29. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> is that 14 minus that 7? On his face. He's like, mm -mm -mm. you better. You're is not. Is that good 14 at minus 7? 14 minus 7 plus 8. Okay. Is that That's it? all I needed to know. Yeah. Oh wow, you did it. A 17, 17 plus 6, 6 23. Uh, sh yeah. There you go. It's good. Uh, 19 plus 18. Um. Uh, oh, man, hold what? on. Uh, that's gonna be uh 37. 37. Woo! Yeah, all right. Dude! How many yeah, we got Undernut! <laughs> yeah! Okay, so 25 minus 6, 19 motherfuckers. No, yeah, 29, yeah. 4, four minus, minus zero. 0. It's 4. They're trying to trick us here. <laughs> oh, it's you can see the... Little hanging down right there. <laughs> Is this just the same guy? You can see his little prunes hanging down. Is this down. the same fucking guy? Yeah, the, yeah. Jesus. Hurry, hurry! Uh, 15 uh, plus... Oh, uh, fuck. fuck! I don't know. Shit. Uh, ten, 9, nine 30, 39, 39. 39. Uh, uh. Oh my god. These right, are just 22. the same pictures now. No, no, no. We gotta get somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Are we? Yeah, look. Level 13 out of 22. 31 plus 18. I don't know. 30 plus... What's 30 plus 19? 59. 59. 59? It's 59. <sighs> what? <laughs> Whoa! He's just spreading Whoa. there. It's okay. Like a, like a sock filled with batteries. Jesus. He's got an interesting shaped penis. <laughs> okay. 49 uh, plus 6. Uh, 50, 54. 55. 55. No, fuck. I pressed the fuck. No. no! I should have probably got in the car. Yeah, probably. You know when uh when you just reached over my hand to help me click those buttons, it really reminded me of like mini golf, like a boy and a girl first day. Just I was honestly thinking of father and a son. Well, the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> this is from China. Ugh. Yes. What? Yes! Yeah! Thank you for the gay pride flag. It's the in-home penis modeling kit. Make a vibrating silicone replica of any penis. Oh, 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 stop! Oh, no, 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 no! No! These things! Fuck these things! I hate them! This is gonna take a while. And I'm they got the ones that throw bones, too. I'm gonna reward you with some King Taco after this, my man. I'm gonna reward you with a sloppy beach. Are you serious? Did somebody say Legos? 
Except I just picked up somebody's nice little uh, mushroom that got dropped when they got hit with the lightning. Oh, uh, I'll, I'll give you a mushroom. Don't, please don't do that, Ryan. I'll, I'll, I'll press, I'll, I'll press it lightly into your, into your pink little anus. What? What? Dude, I'm fine with that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> God damn it! You already won. Yeah. I'm in sixth. What happened? Hey, I called it out, so that means I helped in some way. Thank you. I, you know, I appreciate that. <sighs> wow, I'm getting hit left and right. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Skirt! Okay. Oh, sh I'm on falling off the edge <laughs> of gayness. It's not giving me the items that I need to, to, to achieve my goals. What goals do you have in life, Ryan? What's Win your... at Mario Kart. All the time, every day. Shine Thief. Do you want to be on the same team? Let's be, we haven't done, uh... Okay. Separate teams. I'm blue, yeah. though. Okay, I'm red. Mm, you know, red is a more favored color in the universe, so... It's just a fact. Um, well, you know what else is a fact? If you don't choose Luigi's Mansion, you're gay. Well, I was gonna pick it anyway, dude. Yeah, sure. No, I, like, I was gonna, you know, I was gonna pick it anyway, so... <laughs> Alright, so, uh, Luigi's Mansion. Just thought I'd pick this for no particular reason. Uh, let's drive. I'll be... You know what's weird, though? Like, if you... If you drive for the first five seconds of the match, you're gay. It's just odd. It's just a weird thing to kind of... Fuck, I dropped my controller. Hold on. What's going on, Matt? Sorry, my hands are getting all sweaty. I dropped oh, my controller. Oh, yeah, my, mine are pretty sweaty, too. There you go. All right. Yeah, sorry about that. Just Yeah, no problem. Cool, dude. Stupid America. Sanction spanctions. Sanction spanctions. That's what he said in the letter. <laughs> all it said was sanction spanctions. Then he sent all of them back on a rowboat. <laughs> that would suck, dude. <laughs> Rowboating from Russia to America? Oh my God. Nobody would ever survive that. Cue video of someone listening to this video and then making a whole documentary on them taking the challenge and it's a, actually a really good life experience and then we get no credit for it. So these guys were shittily playing Splatoon and saying how it would, no one could <laughs> rowboat from <laughs> Russia to America. I'm gonna prove them wrong. Little did I know on this journey, I learned uh, more about myself. And I'm really gay now. What if you rode your boat across the ocean and became gay? I'd be horrified because being gay is so bad, am I right? <laughs> oh, I can't squirt ink on that. This is bullshit. Okay, yes! Come on, come on. Yes! Come on. I think I did it, Ryan! I think you, I did you it! You won it for us! Yes! I did it! Matt, I love you! <laughs> Matt, I love you so much! Come here! Will you marry? Yeah. Yes! I will! What? No, I, I'm taking. Um, I was joking too. What? I was joking too. I wouldn't actually marry you, Ryan. That's that's gay. <laughs> what I, what I'm saying, I, there's nothing wrong with, with being. I'm, I'm just saying I'm not. <laughs> I'm gonna propose to my girlfriend in a Minecraft panel. Ooh, oh! They can't. Oh. We just won, dude. They can't win. Damn. There's no way that the action star is awarded to. Uh, uh, I'm gonna drink some celebratory water. Mm. If they get a single star, I'll suck your dick. Yeah. Well, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed uh, Mario Party. Uh, Ryan, um, I think we have some uh, business to attend to. Um, but uh, yeah. Anyway, that guys, that was that was that, that was just a bit though. Like I don't want people to. Think Do you remember that, the like... contract we signed when we started Super Mario? It said any bits set it on the recording couch constitute as uh, verbal contracts. Illegal, illegally binding verbal contract. Yes, I remember. But like that—that that was like. We were filming what I thought was a sketch that was about that. It doesn't matter if you sign a contract as a, as like a, a bit, you're still signing a contract. You, you really you really pulled a series of unfortunate events wedding scene on me. I could I shanghai you, you know? Oh, it all came it came back See together. See that? It full circle. That. This is a great, great, great series. Well, so many won. great things. Look at look how sad they are down there. Idiots. Fucking morons. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, let us know what you want to see us play next. Uh, more Mario Party games. Uh, we can't even play Mario Party again, just different maps, because there's so many different maps. Yeah. And I fucking, I love Mario Party, so just let us know what you want to see us play. Um, thanks so much, and uh, Ryan, get sucking. What if it was purple? Oh, yes! Come here. I'll give you a little one, too. Gotcha. <laughs> King of sticks. That's what they call me. Yeah, because you love penis so much. Ryan, that's really not cool, man. Especially in 2018. I know. In Trump's America. It's not cool to love penis. Man, what's wrong with loving a little bit of penis, man? All I'm saying is I think we all could use a little penis. I, I don't care if you're gay or straight, black or white. Everyone can use a little penis here and there.
Good, this is too much bubble wrap. Wow, might have to blur that one out. It's a little, whoa, does it have our name on it? I idea get it. Oh, no one, Matt went through the rainbow. Why, what's that Big mean? Big surprise. So do you're on the bus too, Ryan. No. Ha, Ryan's gay now, ha ha. Damn it. Ryan's gay, he likes penis in his penis. I've never done this gay sex thing before, so how does a uh, urethra fit another penis it's in It's simple, it? you just, you lube up the penis and you put it in the other man's penis. <laughs> with two guys that are very, like one's very confident that he knows, like, dude, I have, I've had sex Trust me, time. dude, I know how gay sex works. <laughs> He's just, just like, ah, <laughs> oh, this, is it supposed to hurt? Yeah, at first, ah, <sighs> just, fuck. <laughs> Oh, it's very- oh, you're tight. You guys- oh, God. Oh. You guys like that visual of a man putting his erect penis in another man's urethra? Then, then they have then sex? complimenting him, telling him he's tight? Wow, I've never been with anyone tighter than you. <laughs> they get stuck. <laughs> they both, like, try to, like, stop having sex, and then their foreskins are tied in the knot. And then they have to go to, like, they have to go walk around town. And like it's Pre this big goofy to adventure. Pretend like it's not. Oh, dude, Will Arnett and Steve Martin star in the new. <laughs> <laughs> no, it needs to be like Dwayne the Rock Johnson and Kevin Hart. <laughs> That's a power couple, right? Yeah, there. right there. And like they have to pretend like their foreskins not tied together. Well, that was a uh, good. You want to end the episode here with that foreskin story? Yeah. All right. See you guys in the next one. A the... Hole in my pants that leads right to my balls. Can I see? It's right there. Yep, that's his balls. Like, I'm gonna move my underwear just to be like, see? Look, it's a hole. Oh, yeah. Straight to my balls. Oh, yeah, there's <laughs> your ball skin and a little bit of the head of your penis. That is true, yes. Thing was smushed into, smushed up in there. Yeah, well, it's smushed in there, dude. Yeah, it's, it's I gotta, I gotta bring it through the hole. I'm like suing, it's like suing a needle, dude. Suing a needle? Suing a needle. Suing? <laughs> you know, suing. I'm going to suing club later. <laughs> So I can sue a nice shirt up. <laughs> it's because out of the way it's spelled. I know. I think about it, it fucks me up. Every time I read it, I'm like, sue. Oh, so. Sewing. Why is it spelled Fuck sue. off. S O W I N G, which is also a fucking word. Because you sow your, your crops. Reap what you sow. Yep. Uh -oh! All the pussy you get there, dude. <laughs> 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 Man, what if I went to one of your family reunions and just like in the span of the week and just fucked like every one of your cousins? <laughs> All but one are men, so that's a lot. Though. That's a lot of cousins to fuck. <laughs> yeah, on you, on you, in your family, not mine. I, I are on... you into men? Am I into men? Yeah. No. Are you in men? Yeah. <laughs> I came. You came out of your dad. Yeah. That's pretty gay, isn't it? But my dad was never inside of me. Yeah. Same. Isn't it like very? <laughs> If you think about it, Ryan, you're gay because you came out of your dad's nuts. No. You ever thought about that? No. Yeah, you're gay. No, I'm not! <laughs> Boys, what's going on in here? <laughs> dad, is it true I came out of your nuts? <laughs> you fucking piece of shit, Dad! Son! Fuck that's, you! That's, that's, that's how you were made. Uh, can, you, can I see them? I want to see where I came out of. I want to see my, my grassroots beginning. Uh, here you go, son. Here's my nuts. Uh, Oh, they're so goddamn fucking awesome! <laughs> <laughs> like tears, like <laughs> so awesome. God, I nuts. came, I came out of there. <laughs> I'm gonna keep like in my in my on my bedroom wall, like the house I live or like the dorm I had in college, <laughs> the house I grew up in, <laughs> and then my dad's nuts. Dad's and it's like these are all the places nuts. I grew up and came from. <laughs> Small beginnings. <laughs> Royal Caribbean Dreamworks. Oh, they're Shrek. You can go on a Shrek cruise. MSC Lego. Ooh, is this cruise ship made out of Legos? A European-based cruise line uh, partnership with Lego means families can find Lego-themed playrooms and activities on select MSC ships. And, and good news, MSC's first U.S. cruise ship will make its debut in late 2017, sailing out of Miami for Caribbean destinations. Bonus, kids cruise free. Cool. There's a di there's also Disney cruises, but like, how you, know, I, I gotta experience I gotta experience another. I want to do like an Arctic cruise. I've never been on a cruise. Are they fun? Yeah. I when I was a kid, cruises were always like that thing that I was like, they seem cool, but I knew that I would never do it because it's like, oh, you, you my family's not rich, and you gotta be rich to do a cruise. And I had a lot of friends that would go on cruises, and I was always so jealous. I was like. Ah! 
Yeah. N- not if you get those specialty tickets that they sell last minute because they're like, we, we need to sell these tickets. No. Sell them for cheap. And then, and then they sell them for cheap, and then you crowd a bunch of people in one room. Fucking sweet, dude. So, so, so someone has to sleep on the floor, and it's a little cabin, and there's no windows or anything. So you're just three people in a very small place. Get real seasick in with, there. With the bathroom, literally the width of that television. Damn, that sounds fun, dude. <laughs> I know, dude. If we go on a cruise, Ryan, we, we, should, uh, we should get the smallest room possible and have the best time we I can. I was hoping we could just get the... Well, they call it this because it's big. But I, I, I don't mean, Neptune suite? I don't, I don't mean anything by it. Yeah. What do they call it? Honeymoon suite. I mean, that'd be sweet. We just don't refer to it as the honeymoon suite. We'll just be like, we got the big one. <laughs> we, got the, we got the big one. We got the big room, boys. <laughs> but, like, the pillows are shaped like hearts. And, there, and there's a heart, there'd be a heart-shaped, like, jacuzzi. <laughs> and we would just yeah. get in it in our bathing suits and be like, what's up, dude? <laughs> Imagine that. Like, two guy friends that are, like... Like it's, but it's 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 that type of guy where they're like, we're not gay. Like they won't sit by each other at the movies, but they get a cruise. But they accidentally book like the honeymoon suite, so they get in. There's like rose petals, and they're just trying to have a good time. So they go and they get in like the heart shaped bathtub together. But they 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 won't even look at each other. Like, yeah. and everyone wants to, and like everyone wants to seem like super like okay with uh, a gay couple because like they they want to be supportive of it, of course. But everyone goes out of their way in in the most straight way possible of trying to just be like. Oh my God! Congratulations, you two! And they're like, oh, duh, they have to continue. We're brothers. No, 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 no please, no, no. no. <laughs> I'm straight. I'm straight. Yeah, let's get the honeymoon suite. Imagine dude. if that happened in the middle of a movie. You just looked back, and there's two grown men crying, and like, because they're like, that you look at them, and it's like, stop looking. We're, we're straight. Okay. We're straight. Listen. He like leans Listen, forward. Listen, kid. Listen, we're straight, okay? I know we're sitting next to each other in a movie theater, but I promise you, I like vagina. <laughs> Dude, I want to whisper that to someone in front of me when I'm at a like just you and I at a movie <laughs> together. Hey, I know I'm sitting next to my friend, but uh, we both like pussy. <laughs> just so you know. Just in case you, you don't get the wrong idea that we like penis, because we don't, okay? That I get I get grossed out just thinking about it. I'm sick to my stomach thinking about a penis. I look away when I see one. Okay, enjoy the movie. <laughs> By the way, I have some popcorn. Um, wait, wait, what was I gonna say? Uh, oh yeah, when I, when I went to go see Moonlight in theaters, I went and saw it by myself because if I took a guy friend, that would be totally gay. So I was sitting there, and and these two like middle aged dudes, I guess they didn't read about what the movie was about, so they sat down in front of me and they're like enjoying the movie, and then the scene comes up where he, uh, it's like the first gay scene, and they're just like looking around the theaters, going <laughs> the tug of war scene. Yeah, the tug. <laughs> yes, that one <laughs> where they play tug of war on the beach. Hey, yep. Um, and and the two guys like the whole theater sign, but these just, just these two guys are just looking around like nervous, like. <laughs> uh, just to like assure everyone that they're not gay. Uh, can, can you believe this? And then they got up and left right before, right right before he won tug of war. Coming off of that, did you see like? Um, Pornhub released its yearly search map of like the world, like countries. No. Apparently, Pakistan's biggest search is big dick. Yeah, no, but before that, it was gay porn. So you it's know, always it's gay, gay porn dick, in those gay countries. Gay porn. Yeah, because uh, I, I feel like it's just because like that stuff is so repressed in those countries <sighs> that you know, because it's it's because it, they think it's because they all think nobody knows. But then all of a sudden, like Pornhub releases this map, and they're all like, oh. who who's been who? Okay. Fess up. <laughs> but it's like everyone in the room. Like an ISIS meeting and like the head of ISIS comes in. All right, which one of you was it? I was, Wait, which one? I can, I can. Uh, Do you love me, Ryan? Yeah. Real talk, dude. Do you love me? Yeah. I love you too. Uh-huh. <laughs> Not in a gay way, but like, dude, I love old soldier boy because he, he'll say something and then immediately follow it by like no homo like he he like if he says anything slightly not straight he always has to throw in in the next line no homo and i like to choke no on homo. cock no homo and i like to choke on dick no homo and i like to suck matt's dick no homo shaking my head no, no. <laughs> does ryan really suck matt's dick <laughs> Leaked video of, of 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 Ryan McGee slobbing down Matt's stupid cock. What makes why why is why did you put that adjective in there? What's the point? Because it looks like a crazy straw. No, it doesn't. It's not stupid. A penis is not stupid. A penis is a penis. Everybody's looks different. Everybody's has flaws. So it's like you don't need to go out of your way to just call my penis stupid. Okay. 
We'll talk about this in therapy. Okay. Jump. Hey. Push that lever, babe. I didn't mean babe in any sort of sexual context. So is it any wonder people are afraid of technology? Technology! Tell me when you're ready, you bitch. All right, well, I want to start the episode with that so everybody knows the kind of abuse that goes on behind the scenes. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, it's not a joke. It's not a funny... <laughs> it, it doesn't stop when the cameras turn <laughs> it off. Stop. It never stops. <laughs> this, is, this is what I have to deal with in this toxic work environment. Uh, real quick... Before when we you do, wear that skirt to the office, it makes me act a certain way. You're about to make me do something I regret. <laughs> you're about to make me act up. <laughs> Excuse me while I enjoy the view. <laughs> oh my my, what do we have here? And they're gonna be great, and they're... We're never gonna, we're never ever ever gonna complain about them. They're the best clamps. Super Mega has the greatest clamps. I've ever We're used. gonna get golden mics. Fuck, dude. Like, like Keemstar. Dipped, dipped in gold. Oh, he has a gold mic. That's pretty sweet, dude. And then we're gonna have a subscriber counter. <laughs> we're gonna have 10. We're gonna have, <laughs> just like how there's a that. A whole wall is just gonna turn into an LCD screen that just counts our subscribers and goes, You've just, you've just gained what, you've just gained what, you've just gained what. A little, uh, giving us a little too much credit for how fast we get subs, but I think we should get like a, like, massive, like, think... turned up to 11 speaker. <laughs> You know, so it's like, <laughs> it's like, hey Ryan, uh, how's your day? Pretty good, man. Just uh, you got a brand new subscriber. I shouldn't put my. We mouth record on it me. in our voices, and then already blow it out, and then put it on a blown out <laughs> speaker. I blew my mom's speaker in her car once. You blew what? My mom's speaker in her car <laughs> once. That's gay, dude. <laughs> it's pretty gay. <laughs> God, that's so gay, dude. You blew your mom's speaker, dude. I want to. I want to start. Gay shit, dude. dude. Do you remember in middle school when like "gay" was just the word? I was like, dude, that's so gay. <laughs> yes. Dude, that is so <laughs> gay. <laughs> ah, that would be the gayest. Even though like it had nothing to do with actually being gay, it was just <laughs> nope. used as like a like a bad word. It was like, <laughs> how would you? What would you say it was used like? It was like that's gay. Like that's stupid. Or, that's dumb. Ah, uh, dude. That, like, yeah. Also, like, but it's like. Ah, oh, that would be the gayest, like, if you don't want to- It's so funny because it's like, <laughs> you're describing things as gay, but they, like, like, things that have nothing to do with it actually being gay. Ah, oh, dude, that's so freaking gay. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude, that recording session was so gay today. It was only- it was a negative, though. And that's yeah. ob obviously why we don't- no God, that movie that was anymore. gay. God, that was so gay! <laughs> God. We actually, we actually knew someone who's a grown adult that said that movie was gay. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually pretty funny. We both looked at each other when it happened. We're like, "What?" I thought it was a good movie. I didn't think the movie was gay at all. I loved it. I loved it. We looked at each other. We're just like, "Wait, did that really come out of this person's mouth?" <laughs> that was gay. What are you talking about? That was gay. What do you mean that movie was gay? Was <laughs> what does movie. that mean? That movie's gay. It wasn't a movie about homosexual. Like nothing homosexual. Oh, did our mom send us a In letter? In fact, that's a, it's a science fiction movie. That, pro that I don't think had any uh, themes of homosexuality in it. Yeah, but it's still gay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Get back there, boy. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, go oh golden it. underpants. Now, quick before. Oh, hold on. I got time. Ready? And golden spatula. Yeah. That's my boy, man. That's, That's my man. man. That's Matt. That's my friend. That's my man! <laughs> that is my man! <laughs> anyway, he basically, watch this, ready? So we can request a song, because he has like titles of songs if you want a specific one. There's a bunch of songs. But we're just gonna, we're just gonna let him, uh... Freestyle? We're gonna let him freestyle. You ready for this? I mean, let me turn it up so we can enjoy it. God, look at that thick ass Matt has. I'm just kidding, it's not thick. Damn it, I was about to be like, you really, have you, no have you been noticing? Cause someone recently told me they were like, you actually have a bit of a butt. Like, I it's. A I've always defended that, and you always go, nope. I guess it. I, I thought you were just being nice. No. But now I heard it from a second person. I'm like, mm, okay, maybe. I There's a huge difference between a flat butt and then a butt. You look at this. You have. You have. You have. You have a bit of a pulling down your pants, pulling See, down your like, underwear. It's there. Turn to the side. Yeah, it's definitely there. It's just small. You didn't need to pull down your pants for that though. Well, I wanted to give you the full picture. <laughs>
Thanks. <laughs> my belt is too tight. When I pulled my pants up because they're really Dude. tight, you know, do that thing like in porn gifts where like the, the, the woman will be pulling up the tight jeans and like, the <laughs> ass like squeezes into them. Yeah. I did that. Was it hot? Oh, dude, this is the song that made me cry because it's going to remind me of my gerbil dying. Let me turn this shit up. Hold on a second. Fucking crank it to this shit. What do you think, dude? Are you, are you, uh, what are you doing? Are you, is your penis erect? No. Why did your cock erect? It's not. Matt. What the hell are you talking <laughs> Matt, about, dude? Matt, what the fuck? Why'd you pull your dick out? Why did I pull my dick out? You pull your dick out every other video. Not in front of the fans. There's no fan. <gasps> it's like a, there's like a whole crowd in the back. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh man, dude. Let's bring it back memories. Pulling your cock out? No, this music. Okay. Just max and relax. Oh my God. I am so lonely. I'm just gonna go back and forth. Was that Akon that did that song? Yeah, it was Akon, right? Was it? Yeah. Mr. Lonely, that's Akon for sure. Hug my little tight butt. <laughs> These are gradually getting more and more like homo erotic. <laughs> I'm really just trying to send you signals. God, just fuck my tight little white ass! <laughs> God, I'm so bad at this game. If I die again, it would be a real shame of my friend Matt spread apart. Ryan. What? Jesus Christ. <laughs> God, if I failed again, it'd be a shame if I got to kiss my best friend on the lips. Oh. Fuck! <laughs> Uh-oh. Glad it has Waluigi's music. From, is this uh, his theme? And Waluigi's pinball, uh, in, uh, Mario Kart. You know? Did yes. You, did you ever play that one? Play what? Waluigi's pinball? I don't think so. It was a, uh, Mario Kart level in, uh, I think it's in Double Dash. Really fun. Really beautiful. We played Double Dash on the channel, remember that? I do. That was a fun what, time. What a, what a... Whew! Yeah. That has one of the big, uh... RAGE moments. One of the best rage moments. <laughs> best rage of 2016. That actually, I got lightheaded from that one, though. That one, my throat was like raw for the rest of the day and I was lightheaded <laughs> from screaming. No. I gotta specify it's from screaming because if I say my throat was raw for the rest of the day, our lovely viewers will take that out of context. Well, still like, was he sucking dick? They're, they're, they're still gonna take <laughs> it yeah, out of context. Yeah, they're gonna take it out of context. Fuck. What Please don't do that, guys. Boring? Okay, so I walked into your room last night and you were... So, like it looks like you were practicing fellatio on a on a dildo like you had it suctioned to your window <laughs> and you were just buck ass naked your hands dude that was hard pressed against that window that was just a prank it was just a prank yeah how come you didn't how come i left you didn't say anything or you didn't even look at me it's like you didn't even notice i walked in it was just a prank dude well, you got me. Uh, but it was like the first day of school, and we were in art class. Uh, and and he we we had to like get a board to mm -hmm. draw on, and yeah. he said where the board's at. But he was like, man, where the boys at? And it sounded like he said where the boys at. So from then on, like everyone was just like, oh, where are the boys at, Demetrius? But he took it really seriously. He did not like that. He was like very angry. <laughs> man, that's not funny, man. He get really upset. He just didn't like it. Why? I don't know, because he didn't want to be seen as homosexual, I guess? Oh, okay. I was gonna ask. I was like, is there, is, is he, like, homophobic? Uh, and then probably, you answered yeah. my question. Actually, no, I think he was homophobic. Uh, I'm, I'm remembering mo doesn't that more... Mean, doesn't that mean you have a fear of homosexuals? Technically, by definition, yes. <laughs> I'm scared of, homo <laughs> of, of of gay people. I'm what scared a weird, what of a the funny same thing, people. Because, you know, most people that are, like, uh, bigoted against gay people, it's because they don't understand and they're scared of it. It's not It's not, yeah. It's not. not that they don't agree with their ways. They're, it's just scary and new to them. So it's like... Their heart rate actually goes up more and they're more turned on when they see homosexual there, there, interactions. There are, there are studies on that. Yeah. But it, it, I just find that funny. Like, what a funny thing to be scared of. These, these just fabulous men just... Hi! Oh, God! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> I don't think all gay men act like that. <clears throat> sorry, I'm not. I'm not trying. To, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to stereotype. Sorry, no, no. If you if you watch YouTube, that's that's pretty much how it categorizes. All media, dude. All, all media. Yeah, all like media. Hollywood. 
Like Hollywood, it's just like the hi, gay, I'm gay. Yeah, the gay best friend. There's always the gay like every everything about women, like show about women. There's always like a gay friend. Like my cousin oh, honey, hates please. that. My cousin absolutely hates that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Does he? Yeah, because he's like, you know, there's not really fair representation. Like, hey, we're fucking like we're we're not characters. We're normal fucking. Human I mean, it, beings. it's not like like the media would just throw like a random black guy in, just be like, hey, I'm the black. Oh wait a second. Oh wait, they do. <laughs> Yeah. Deep in the cave, I discovered in the forest. I and look at Captain America: Civil War. He has his best black friend. Oh, and apparently they're trying to make Captain America gay or something. I, I saw that yesterday. But but on to this. Well, it have to be bisexual. I I guess so. If you know the story. Deep in the cave, I discovered in the forest. I encountered blue Pikmin. These blue fellows have something resembling gills on their cheeks, and they appear to be amphibious, surviving both in water and on land. The wonders of nature never cease to stun me, even in this alien land. You're really. Well, I want on to. The head, aren't you? I want to include all races and all walks sexual, of life. Yeah, all walks of life, dude. I think what's most alarming to me about the Paul brothers is the lack of humility to where they they flaunt things so much, and I think that's their persona that's, is based on their ego, and that's that's a really bad thing to teach young people growing up. Yeah, that's all about me, 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 me. Yeah, and also on top of that, like people like Jacob Sartorius and and Bad Baby and Lil Tay or whatever their names are. It's like I feel like when you're that young. You can't comprehend humility and an ego yet. Yeah. So you Well, you're don't... all ego at that age. Yeah, exactly. When you're young, you're all ego because you haven't had the life experiences to teach you humility, to teach you uh, really what it's like to have a big ego. Mm -hmm. So when you start that young, that kind of sets the stage for the rest of your life to have a big ego. And I hate to break it to you guys, but no one likes somebody with a big, big ego. People with big egos are really no fun to be around. They, it, it's, um... It's very, it's very obvious when you're around someone And like it's that. exhausting to be around someone with yeah. a big ego. I've known many people with big Man. egos, and it's just like, oh my god, stop. I'm just glad I don't have a big ego. Same, dude. I'm probably the most humble person I know. Same. High five? God, we make so much fucking money. <laughs> anyway. Um, and we're so fucking jacked and hot, and women want to fuck us. And we have the biggest penises. And men want to fuck us, too. Men want to fuck us, that. too. Hell men yeah. want to fuck us. <laughs> I go to bed at night thinking, God, men want to fuck me and my, all my money. <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> That's good. Did you get the email from a setta earlier today? Set of these nuts. Damn it, you! You're so good, <laughs> Matt. We lived together for a for a long like time. two and a half years. There was a point where you and I were the only people we like we were talking to in person for like months. <laughs> yeah. So like besides like people at like a restaurant where we have to order food. Man, that like two month period when we were starting up Super Mega and we didn't see anyone in the outside world except for us because we were just so busy working on Super Mega. <laughs> I, I don't think I've ever heard the word these nuts said more every single day on a daily basis. Like everybody, like, like Ryan, are we out of bread? These nuts? <laughs> My wiener. It's just like, he was great. I, I, I think that, no joke, I've heard you say these nuts literally over 3,000 times. <laughs> and you, you know bad. that's true. That's not even an over exaggeration. <laughs> Probably. Because like, there'd be a lot. You of still times say it every now and then. I don't say not it as, as much anymore. I will admit <laughs> you've, you've toned down of on like it. A, God damn it! At least now when you try to talk to me, I, I I try to meet you halfway every now and then. You'll get more creative with it. Now you'll just whip out your penis when I'm talking to you, and then I'll just or while you're working at the computer. I'll be working at the computer and I have my headphones on, and I'll sense like a warm presence next to me. I'll look over, and it's just Ryan standing there. With his gym shorts down, with his, his penis. Danny DeVito ass looking penis. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a good way to describe it, dude. <laughs> Ryan's penis looks like what Danny DeVito's penis would probably look like. <laughs> That's a great way to describe it. It reminds me of the way Kronk's voice feels. Remember that classic super mega uh, joke? Oh, yeah. It really is a great way to describe it. Danny DeVito and the way Kronk's voice makes you feel. <laughs> Well, I'm saying Danny DeVito when it's all flaccid, and then Kronk's voice. Why well, haven't like seen it erect? When so it's soft. yeah. I, What's have, it? I, have I seen them? No, I don't. <laughs> have you seen my erect penis before? I think I, think I have. When? I don't know, but like something strikes me. When just have you like, seen my erect there's, penis? There's no way. Dude, oh! and to I'm shooting at you. Fuck, dude. <laughs> Fuck. I'm blowing your ass up, boy. Boy, prepare to be anally raped. Uh, I just anally raped fuck, you, dude. You did. You fucking what? Yeah, <laughs> your penis is out. Prove it. Your speckled cock. <laughs>
It's not speckled. Why do you always say it's speckled when you see my penis? And you got everyone else saying that too. <laughs> Frank Japsy texted me today and said, "I and he said, hey man, I miss your your large like cow spotted cock." Maybe, and I was maybe like, "What does that even mean?" Penis. It's dirty and gross. It's not dirty at all. You have a dirty looking penis. <laughs> no, I don't. Are you saying because my mom's Middle Eastern? No, your penis that I have just a dirty looks like penis. You, you racist. You rubbed it in dirt. Fucking racist. I'm not racist. Are your you penis looks like there's you're dirt on it. Because it's darker. It's a darker color than your no, penis. No, when it's flashing, your dick looks like it's just a dirty. Because I have more. Because I have darker pubes. Because I'm a like, because I take the pubes have nothing to do with you it. Your have penis is darker. With it. You, you, your penis is, is like a your dark, dick dirty. looks like a livestock cock. Because it's so big. It looks big. like they should. <laughs> yes, it's so big. <laughs> okay. Well, like, the, it's so sensitive, dude. It's as sensitive as a woman's nether regions. Her clitoris. I don't know what that is. No, no. God, yes. Oh, yes. Come here, Matt. Stop, Ryan. Stop. Stop. Okay. Hey. Would you bro fist me? Ah! Fuck. What are you doing? <laughs> Just he stood up and he stretched his gym shorts, gave himself a wedgie so I could see both ass cheeks. What are you doing? My underwear is weird. Like That's how you fix it? To make it worse, and then you then you pull it out of your butt crack. Oh, okay, because I just saw you just like lean away from the mic and then stand up and basically give yourself a massive wedgie, revealing both of your glistening ass cheeks to me. Well, I mean, I mean if you wanted to take advantage of the situation, you could have, but you didn't. So. All right, well, uh, back to what I was saying. <laughs> I it's actually good we get to do this because there's no other way it would ever be shown in this series because we don't reset. Okay. But uh, if you reset your game without saving, Mr. Rossetti comes and he lectures you about it. Um, so he's saying, thanks for buying Animal Crossing, behalf of everyone in Nintendo, blah, 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 blah. But basically he just yells at you for like 20 minutes about how you need to save your game before. So I'm just going to blow through this because Ugh, he really... I'd like to blow through you. Shut the hell up, dude. I'm trying to do Let's Plays. I'd like to take my four-foot cock and just ram it inside. God, dude. <laughs> hell yeah, man. What a sweet little pooch. Oh, scratch yourself. Okay, also, your goal is not to hurt Gotcha. Yo, my dad is not like the rest. He's kind of like a cute girl, just minus the breast. This is not what the inside of a whale looks like, Ryan. Are you sure? Have you ever been inside of a whale, Matt? Actually, Ryan, I have. This was a triumph. Just because it says alive, that's why I did that. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, I'm making uh, a note here. Big success. <laughs> Big success. Is that what it says? Huge success. Oh, huge success. It's hard huge. to overstate my satisfaction. Aperture science. Da, na, 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 I'm gay. Na, na, na. <laughs> when in doubt? Say I'm gay. <laughs> That's what GLaDOS says. Do you not remember? I'm gay. I'm gay. Oh, okay, man. so uh, is there is this little cave over here? Uh, oh. Run! I'm gay. That's not good. Sorry, oh no. That was just my. That was just your go-to. Oh, it's a lot of zombies. That was your go-to exclamation. Oh fuck. Okay. Oh. I I feel like by the time we're done with our Mario Maker series, Ryan. You and I are gonna be a couple of Mario Maker pros. You think, Dad? And a couple of Mario. M I'm gay. <laughs> but more cool. Oh, oh damn! Oh shit, dude! Burn. Where are the air horns? There they are. <laughs> Jack, I'm gay. I'm gay. <laughs> Jack, that looks like uh, like a man bending over and showing his ass, and his cock is hanging down. <laughs> Am I the only one drawing? Yeah, my guy's talking to the other guy. And the other like, guy's just like, oh, I'm like, I have being gay. And he's like, but I'm gay. I have a secret to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> he just like zooms in on his face. I'm gay. I'm, I'm gay. gay. Um, well, we'll make sure no matter whatever happens with Ming, we'll keep you guys updated. But speaking of other like people, um, we had some problems in our apartment with like my shower was leaking. No, dude, tell the story when the, when the guy was coming in to fix our shit that's what i am I, okay okay that's okay. the story i'm telling <laughs> like my sink was leaking my shower was leaking our ac wasn't working quite right so we had to call the maintenance guy um and he was like coming he's like i'll be there later in a few days or so 
That's what he said. In a few days or so. So one morning we wake up, we're getting ready for work, and um, like I get up and uh, I'm getting dressed, and I hear like I thought it was because every morning Ryan has to go take his dog out to use the bathroom. So I hear the door open, and I thought it was Ryan. Sorry. God, why do you throw up in your mouth? I'm not, so throw, I'm not throwing my mouth. I'm burping because I'm drinking this. So I hear the door open. I'm, I, I'm in my room with the door shut, and I hear the front door open, and I think that it's Ryan coming back in with his dog. Um, so I was like, you're gay! <laughs> Loudly. And I heard, like, kind of a muffled, like, response. And I thought it was Ryan just doing, like, a goofy, maybe, like, maybe a goofy Middle Eastern voice. <laughs> so again, I went, you're gay! <laughs> and that's just when I hear... I'm here to fix the sink. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> I called our maintenance guy gay twice. And, and then and he responded the first time. And then I called him gay again. <laughs> he was unbuckling his pants going, <laughs> oh, yes. I'm here for the service. Are you fucking our maintenance man? <laughs> <laughs> and the conversations we, we have on this podcast. Do you think you, how long do you think you could hide the fact that you're fucking the maintenance man from me? Like well, you're fucking him every week. I wouldn't fuck times a man in the, in, to begin with. No, like, but I'm saying if if I had long, to, it would be our maintenance man. Yeah. <laughs> He's, how long do you think you could keep that a secret from me being your roommate? I would just wait until you're gone, and I I put in a service request, and he would service me. <laughs> how do you That's know simple. that I wouldn't come back and walk in? I would just act. Oh, he's just here to fix the sink. <laughs> but he'd be naked, and you'd be fucking him. You're not gonna walk in on me fucking the maintenance. How do man. you know? Like the door is probably gonna be unlocked. I would lock my bedroom door <laughs> if I was planning on having sex with another man in my room. Why? Then my question would be: Why are you in your room with the door locked with the maintenance man? Do you ever try to open my door handle when I'm in my room and the door's shut? You see, so you wouldn't know it's locked. No, but why would you close yourself up with the maintenance man in the first place? Oh, fuck, that's a good. That's a good point. I don't know. Maybe I would just have to. Just hide him in your closet until I go into my room, and then you just tell him to leave? Yeah, and just be like, oh yeah, he's he's been here the whole time. Um, <laughs> dude, I'm gonna start putting in service requests, like fake maintenance requests under your name, so he just is, he's coming like every single he, day. He comes at like 6 in the morning. Like, I'm gonna put some crazy, like, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start hitting on him, like, <laughs> as your name, like, <laughs> we're putting like little, like, flirty little, like, things in the maintenance request, like, pipes need plumbing, it's like you can take a look, winky it, face. It's like, you can come in if you want, I'll be sleeping. You'll know it's my room, because there'll be a red rose planted at the base of the door. <laughs> and just start fucking with you, and you don't even know I'm doing this. <laughs> no! But then, the, every time we you see- We get evicted because of sexual harassment! Every time, every time you guys see each other, <laughs> he would just feel very uncomfortable. And you would have no idea. <laughs> no! You just have no idea that, in this man's mind, you're you're a homosexual that's coming on to him and trying to like my kind smile would come across as a ravenous homosexual like mm, yeah, <laughs> mm. you know it and I know it too type of thing <laughs> yeah and you could just be like come on in and fix my shower I might take a shower while you're fixing it to make sure it works don't worry about <laughs> don't worry about seeing my private parts <laughs> I don't mind and then finally I just put one in it's like it's like I need you to stuff my pipes <laughs> and he'll just be like. What if, like, one day he actually, <laughs> what if I did this, and he shows up and tries to fuck you? <laughs> God, what if he, sh no, what if he shows up in, like, a little tuxedo and shit? He's like, like a little, <laughs> and he hands me a card, and it goes, I like you, do you like me? Check yes, check no. <laughs> no what if There's a like little one that, like, you can barely see that says maybe, because he just wants a definite answer. Ryan, you're going to be in your room one day, and he's going to be, like, messing with your AC, <laughs> and, like, He's gonna, you're gonna, it's gonna I'm be gonna one of those- I'm gonna wake up to him stroking my cock. No, it's gonna be your, you're gonna keep making eye contact with him, like, over and over. And it's gonna be like, why do we keep making eye contact? <laughs> and finally, like, he's gonna finish, like, fixing the pipe and slowly turn to you and just be like, hey. And then, like, he starts unbuckling his pants, because he think like, he thinks you're ready. So he just starts undoing his pants and, like, getting ready to, like, fuck you. And then, like, you would just be so shocked, wouldn't you? Would I be shocked if our maintenance man came in to do- a job and then tried to fuck me? Would I be surprised by that? No, yes. of course not. <laughs> I mean, that's that's what, what is there like. to be surprised about? I mean, that's kind of it's kind of the routine, you know, thing that they happens. say you wish upon a star. I made a wish and it did come true. I wish, man, I wish the maintenance man would come fuck me every now and then when he's fixing <laughs> the shower or the air air conditioning. Cleaning. See a woman now? Yeah. 
Well, I thought that when he said, like, I'm here to fix the sink or whatever, I thought that it was you doing, Ooh. like, a dumb voice like that. But, uh, I mean, when the AC's working, it's great. But um, the other 90% of the time, it's either pouring gallons of water onto my floor or blowing out air that's not cold at all. I just have a pot under my AC, a dedicated yeah. pot. You should you should submit a service request for that bad boy. Just we submit so many, nothing happens. But yeah, I think it's good to have them. Like our, our our maintenance guy comes in, he's like, "What? What? The one time he's like, remember not to put candles yeah, near all, the all AC said, unit. It's like the AC unit's on the fucking ceiling. How am I put? How do you expect? Am I holding a candle up to our AC unit, going, ha ha? All right, our man's gonna have to come here because I I know that candles fuck with AC units apparently. Also, you, I hadn't. It was for my specific AC in my room, and I'm like, here, it's it's not blowing out cold air and it's leaking. And then he leaves a note, and all it says is, don't, don't light candles near the AC unit. That's what's causing this. And I'm like, dude, I have, I have not lit a candle in months in my room. Is he just, is this just like he's going down all the things on his list? Like he's going out like serial uh, maintenance uh, disaster man. Like his arch nemesis is going around fixing things. That's crossed off the list, but next on his list is candles. You know what I think it is? Uh, I think he purposely doesn't want to like, fix any of our stuff because I called him Sweet. gay that one time. Remember when I called him gay by accident? You're gay. Yeah, I yeah. remember. That's from episode 32 of our podcast, The Maintenance Man Cometh. Shit, you remember that episode. Oh, I remember that episode. It was when uh, uh, early one morning, I thought it was it was Ryan walking into our apartment, and I thought it was doing a goofy voice, and I went, you're gay. You're gay. And it was actually our maintenance man uh, here to fix my AC unit, so I just uh, quickly jumped in the shower. <laughs> and... um. I think he's always remembered that, and it's always stuck with him. Uh, good old maintenance, man. I love him. Okay, I think I got uh, everyone. And the day is done. Oh, it's done. man, it's done. Okay, let's see. All right, boys, go back into your little, go have those slumber parties, go tell ghost stories, paint each other's nails, talk about boys. Okay, Alamar, you're gay, though. No. Yeah? No. I'm... See, Alamar, you're gay, though. No, no, I'm not, guys. What you... Alamar's gay. Stop. Seems so precarious. I'm gay. I'm All gay. right. I'm gay. I'm gay, dude. <laughs> That's what he's saying. That's all he's saying. He's just saying I'm gay. <laughs> Look at his face. I'm gay. <laughs> I'm so gay. Man, it's okay if you smoke a cigarette or two, cause I'm gay. <laughs> How is that justification, sir? What is that? What are you talking about? Shut up, I'm gay. Fair, you couldn't cope with and enjoy life without cigarettes, little boys. <laughs> I mean, she just threw little boys in there, like after every sentence. You'd have to go through a terrible trauma to quit, and that maybe the craving would never go, little boys. You believed you were making a sacrifice, little boys. This was the cause of your failed attempts to quit, little boys. Sir, can you stop? The last Burn game up. illustrated uh, s illustrated this battle between you and the nicotine monster, little boys. So why he you, uses why you illusions that? to protect himself because in reality he is powerless without them and can easily be defeated, little boys. I'm gay. Why are you, why are you, why, why are you gay, telling me you're gay? Boys. Now, little boys, I'm that's gay. Irrele that's irrelevant <laughs> to the situation. I'm trying to quit smoking just here. Just making a mockery. Making a mockery of this poor man. He probably has nothing to do with this game. He's just a stock model. They were like, yeah, this works. And now we're making fun of him. And he's, he's just trying to make a living as a I'm stock. He's a little gay like, boy. <laughs> he's just trying to get his picture taken for stock photos to get some money to feed his family. Help, here we are mocking him. cigarettes, or else I'm going to be gay forever. <laughs> All right, Ryan. This is the last one. Press continue. Press and continue. This is it, man. Whoops. Damn it. I'm gay. What? Let's go. Anyway, I'd like to tell a story, Ryan. It's a really small story that's like three seconds long. Earlier today, I was Does walking that mean up- mean it's about your penis? Ryan, I, I, I've had it. <laughs> I've had it. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm trying to tell my story okay, go here. Tell your story. I was just trying to goof and gaff you for 2018. It's only the second <laughs> podcast in the year. Okay. Okay. I'm Our sorry. gaffs have to be top quality. All right. I blew. I, I blew. I blew a lid. You it blew a cool. fuse. Yeah, blew I did. A big it wasn't old cool. fuse. I'm sorry. It's like you're a mansion and all the lights went out. No backup generators. Nothing. Oh, you ain't seen all the lights go out yet, Ryan. Oh, I'd love just to back up and never mind. <laughs> um, I was walking down the sidewalk. Uh. With a, a car salesman earlier were you today. I was not whistling. Did you we have your little hat on? No, we were walking in silence. <laughs> this makes this story so much more just uninteresting now. I, well, I haven't if it to doesn't, the interesting if, part. If it doesn't start with you walking down the sidewalk whistling with a little hat on. Okay, from now on, every single one of my stories I tell on the podcast will start with me wearing a little hat. 
I don't like wait, little hat is in like hey Arnold little, like that size, or like it's just small. <laughs> no, not like a baseball cap, like a little like a miniature fedora type of thing. Like, like a little hat. I don't know how to explain like it. Like a hat you'd put on like a dog? Like, yes, exactly. Like that. But for you, what type of hat is it? Um, hold on. Like a baseball cap or a fedora? I'm gonna look up hats on Google and choose which hat. Okay. You're, you're gonna get back to your story. How about like a bowler cap? One of these. <laughs> That's just a woman's. What what is that called? An, an or uh, is that just a sun hat? Straw boater hat. Straw boater hat. Okay. Um. <laughs> anyway, I was walking down the sidewalk with a car. No, 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 no. <laughs> this hat. Yes, I don't know what that's called. It looks like a. That's what like. Nice, rich, old white men wear. Oh, yeah. Hey. yeah, like a barbershop quartet would yeah. wear that hat. Okay, anyways. Okay, back to my story. I was walking down the sidewalk, whistling, wearing a small hat, and I was with a car salesman <laughs> okay. because I was checking out uh, the possibility of leasing a car, which I'm not going to do anymore. But I was like, hey, I'll check it out. I was walking down the sidewalk, and um, a, a, a young man walked by with a shopping cart, and he was screaming loudly, uh, very enthusiastically. So obviously the shopping cart wasn't taken... Like legally, yeah, he had, he had clearly stolen. It was filled okay. with his belongings, okay. and he okay. was screaming in a high pitched voice, uh, like high pitched, like <gasps> no, not I it, don't like, he was like he was like hey, it? like that, well, I don't know what's going on. exactly like that, SpongeBob, and he was screaming, <laughs> and it and he was screaming, uh, boy, it feels good to be gay. Boy, it feels good to be gay. Yeah, he was just doing that, and then he started. He sta- nope, not that. <laughs> and he started screaming. Uh, he started laughing and screaming sexual harassment as he walked by me. So. That's my story. <laughs> sexual harassment, sexual harassment. <laughs> Ryan, you make a great cartoon. Character. Nice little hat. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> my friend Ryan picked it out for me. I like the way you're whistling, son. Thank you. I've been practicing. Want to get in my cart? Yeah, I'd love Wanna to. get in my cart? I would love to get in a homeless <laughs> I'm cart. I'm gay. That's what was happening. That's what it was. <laughs> That's ex- see? You're oh. very enthusiastic ca- uh, cartoon character. Thank you. I should be I should be a voice actor. No, you should just be a cartoon character. I should be a voice actor. You should live your life and identify as a cartoon character. You can't identify as a cartoon yes, character. Yes, you can. Uh, yeah, I, I guess I technically you, you can, but then like it's say, just nonsense. I'm a, I'm a cartoon character now. I, I identify as SpongeBob. I just want to be like that guy pushing that car today. He was so enthusiastic about life. Yeah. And boy, did it feel good to be gay. That's what you're saying. Boy, it feels good to be gay. He didn't have a southern accent like... Boy, it feels good to be gay. Kind of like, yeah, exactly like okay, that. Okay. Just yelling, boy, it feels good to be gay. And I'm happy Woo. for him. I'm glad that it felt good to be gay. You know? <laughs> Probably felt wonderful. Probably. I look in at the look on his face. It felt great. He was really enjoying like, it. Like, being gay was his way. Actually, I was about to say, is his way of hiding from his problems. But that's everyone. Everyone hides from their problems. By being gay. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> that's the, that's look the look common the, escape that's, mechanism. Those of being senators gay. aren't actually gay. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when that happened. That was. I remember hearing that on the radio over and over. Wait, which one? Because there's so many. Are you yeah, talking about the a dude lot. that blew someone in his own office? Or are you talking no. about the dude that got, ta- that got caught with a 17-year-old and he was wearing a Bible quotes verse that says, make me a sandwich? Wait, the Bible? The... No, no, no. There was a bi- there, he, was, he, had a, he had Ephesians blank, blank, blank on his shirt. But there was also a picture of a sandwich. And it's about women being, being all submissive, submissive to the husband. Okay. It's essentially like, make me a sandwich. For a second, I thought you meant there was a Bible verse that was literally about making, like, make me a sandwich. Would it surprise you? "Uh, Not too much, to be honest. Yeah. Not too much. But anyway, I was like, uh, shit, I totally forgot what I was saying. Fuck, Ryan, help me. What what was I saying? You were were making love to your dad. I was not making love to my dad. That's not what I was saying. Are you sure? I could have sworn you said something. What if I was that gullible? I was like, oh, yeah. So I was making love to my dad. Wait a second. (laughs) Yeah, just like, hold on. I wasn't making love to my dad. (laughs) Or was I? Damn it, Ryan, you're getting inside my brain. Those of you call your dad, hey, dad, did you and I ever make love? No. Okay. <sighs> Ryan, you got me this time. <laughs> Next time you won't be so coy. Um, But I, uh, shit, dude, what was I, f- oh, yeah, the senator. You were senator. walking down the sidewalk, whistling with a little hat on. And I was talking about gay senators. <laughs> yes. Yes. Remember a long time ago, that one senator, and he was in the airport bathroom. And 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 he was he like did his little foot tap thing. He's doing his little. Is like, that like a legitimate code? Is that legitimate code for I want a blow job? Apparently, there's like a a code that some guys use in public bathrooms for sex with other random men. And he did that, and then he got arrested because the guy like reported him. And then he had to go to a press conference where he's like, "I am not gay. I never have been gay." And I just remember when I was a kid, I heard that exact quote on the radio all the time, and it was really funny. We're just trying to think of like how, like how do you. 
How do you arrest someone? He could have just been tapping his foot. Yeah, Unless he was like, he... give me a blowjob. He tapped out, give me a blowjob in Morse code. He typed, uh, he, he tapped out, boy, I'm gay and would love a blowjob from another man in Morse code with his foot. I don't understand how you're arrested after that. Uh, Are you telling the truth, Matt? There must have been more to it. He got arrested by like airport security, I think. Damn. Um, detained by airport detained, security. Detained, right. They don't have the power or authority to arrest him. But I like, what if I'm just, uh, you know, in a public bathroom and, I, and I'm singing a song in my head, you know, I'm wearing okay. my little hat, I'm whistling. You're tapping your and foot. I'm tapping my foot to the beat in my head. To the, to the jingle of the jam. But apparently, like, what if what I'm tapping, I don't realize it, but it's a signal for gay sex. What, uh -oh. what then? And then, and then you have to have gay sex. Yeah, that's you're the code. stuck. That is. It's like it's pretty much that foot tap is like a legal like binding, binding contract. contract that it's I now have to have gay sex. Not even verbal. <laughs> it's an it's an audible contract. Yes, you know. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Brian, hey Ryan, <laughs> I can see you now. <laughs> yeah. Ryan, Subway, eat fresh. They added more levels, but the password protected. Oh shit, we're moving deeper into the system yeah. now. Seriously, that sucks. Super lame. Seriously, seriously that sucks. Seriously, seriously. Yeah, super lame, I'll send it anyway. Let me know if you figure out how to get out. Well, what's the password, Ryan? This. Incoming then... message. I wanna play, stupid password. You're gonna listen back to this, and you're gonna be like, damn. What, why did I do I, that I, voice? Why, why did I do that voice? Why did I make fun of my dad like that. Ryan? <laughs> Wait for the platform. Yeah, there's the platform. Do a big jump. There, there you go. Ah, mm -mm -mm. oh, so sparkly. So sparkly, Ryan. Whoa, dude. What? Stereotypes. Why? How am I stereotyping? You're stereotyping Matt Watson's family. <laughs> what? Ryan, you're in- Because you're all just a bunch of- A bunch of gays? No. Thank you. A little high five to YouTube. Real nice, real. We're definitely able to support ourselves when we do when when they're like that. But I heard that hopefully, the adpocalypse is drawing to a close. Is it? I pray it is because I'm really hoping things go back to Still normal. Still gonna be very strict though. Yeah, but it, it, as long as you know they can you know return things back to more of a normal way where revenue and CPM isn't absolute garbage, it'd be really nice. I like what you did with your voice. Thanks, homos!